Well, welcome back, everybody, to our online program on addiction and recovery. And we've been talking about addiction and the dark side of life. Because, as I'm sure you know, uh, when most people think about addiction, they do think about this life that's uh, sort of devoid of healthy-mindedness and good order. In fact, most people in active addiction, if not all of them, they actually live out their this uh, this dark side. That's why we hear all the time about feelings of resentment, uh, stories about revenge, anger, uh, lust, and that's the dark side of life. But in recovery, we need to take this dark side and somehow use it to our benefit. Right? And we talked last time about one of the techniques that psychologists recommend is mindfulness meditation. But that's, that's not the only technique. There's a, there's a really powerful one. And I, I don't know if you've noticed this, but a lot of poets and songwriters and even stand-up comics, actually, uh, they come from really troubled paths. And so they've got all these feelings in, uh, welling up inside. And rather than act out on them, what they do is they put it into their art. And it's quite interesting. Like, uh, for example, Vincent Van Gogh, we, we're pretty sure that he probably had this thing called bipolar disorder. And a lot of his paintings actually are expressions of the pain that he's going through from suffering from this uh, mental disorder. Or you probably know The Scream, uh, Edward uh, Munch's uh, famous painting. Well, Munch apparently had a, a troubled life too, and so he, he's expressing his pain in that. In fact, there are organizations that uh, use this thing called art therapy, and so the idea behind art therapy is for the person to paint their, their, these terrible feelings they have. And it's quite interesting. There's even websites on this as well. So this is a very good way of, a, of approaching the dark side. So when you get feelings of anger or you know, maybe you revenge over some kind of abuse you received or anything, a very constructive way of using this is actually to express it through art or comedy or, or some way that, that helps. There are people who have lost loved ones to addiction and a, a very common uh, uh, way they deal with this is to create a foundation in their loved one's honor. This was, uh, for example, Robert Shapiro, the famous lawyer, when his son Brent died from uh, an ecstasy overdose, he created the uh, Brent Shapiro Foundation to raise money to find a, a scientific way of treating addiction. So there are many ways of using this pain constructively and this anger constructively. You just got to figure out what they are for you. Anyway, that's uh, this episode on our online program, and we'll be back next time with the last episode on addiction and the dark side.